Hello and welcome to another online reflections from Balfour and Kirk. Today I am looking at three words, happiness, contentment and joy, all of which are quite positive words. In the dictionary, the meaning of happiness is feeling pleased. This can be experienced when something nice happens to you, you are given a gift, given a hug, or when you do this for someone else and you see them happy. Music can make you feel happy. I love Ken Dodd's song, Happiness. Happiness is an emotion which gives you a good feeling. Many of us say that we feel happy, happier when the sun is shining, not like today as it's cloudy. And when we meet people, a smile makes everyone feel and much more responsive. However, life is not always made up of happy moments, as there are sad and difficult times too. However, the word contentment is defined as accepting one's situation in life with equanimity and satisfaction. Our lives are not all the same. Some are rich, others poor, some are healthy, others ill. Some have physical, mental or educational difficulties, limiting opportunities, while others seem to have it all. Discontent with a situation can often lead to a person um, improving their lives and those of others. But if we continually compare ourselves to others, we end up frustrated with life and nothing is ever what we want and makes it to make us feel happy. Living as unfulfilled people. In Timothy chapter 6, Paul says, that godliness with contentment is great gain. If we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. A third word, joy, is defined as a quality founded upon, upon and derived from God. Joy and happiness are often mixed up and assumed to mean the same thing. As I said, happiness is a short moment in time when life feels good, whereas joy is something within us. As the def definition says, it is a gift of God along with many other gifts to his people. Joy is not a fleeting emotion. It is part of our being. The spirit of God living within and through us. I hope that you will all have many happy times to look forward to, making life special. Also, that you may find contentment in whatever difficulties and despite whatever difficulties and challenges you face, and that you may accept God's gift of grace, giving you a life full of joy. Now, may the God of hope fill us all with joy 
and peace as we trust him so that we may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.